You know, I realise that I'm three years older than the Sydney Symphony Orchestra. <laughs> um, and I've known every uh, conductor well, actually, uh, since Goosen's. Uh, I've had many memorable experiences, therefore, with the orchestra, but I think my most memorable was with um, my piece Sun Music. I wrote it for the Sydney Symphony to take on its first um, overseas tour. And at the first rehearsal, uh, there was a problem because I'd written the music in with symbols, not normal notation, and I gave a kind of list of the, you know the meanings of the symbols. Players sat down, looked at the music, and laughed, and uh, then refused to play. And so they decided that they'd go off and have a meeting about whether or not they'd uh, rehearse the piece. As it turned out, the piece was a great success um, overseas, and it led to my first uh, to my contract with my publishers in London. Um, and I'm still with the publishers. So that um, uh, time was a very important time in my life. I find uh, live classical music always inspiring because as a composer, often I might be um, stuck with a piece, you know, stuck with, uh, for an idea or just um, not quite sure where to go and I go to a concert and suddenly I feel inspired and um, come home and, and I seem to get, get the music right. Bobby Helpman often called uh, Australia a cultural desert. I, I, I didn't believe it actually, but uh, I think um, Australia without the Sydney Symphony would be um, approaching a cultural desert. I mean, we need the orchestra to um, uphold the past, um, to educate young people and to um, usher in the future of music. And um, I, I think it's in, intrinsic to our cultural life and to, to, uh, to the life of, of, of the very spirit of, of our land. Thanks, Sydney Symphony Orchestra. You've been so important to my life um, and to the life of this country. Happy birthday. Mm -hmm.